everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video we're going to be doing something slightly different to the usual. We're going to be doing a product review. However, it's not a proper product review. Now this isn't a sponsored video. Realistically, this is a product that I do not want to use and I do not want you guys to also use. And I'm going to prove why you guys shouldn't use it. I don't want you guys to waste any money on anything like this. So that's why I'm doing this. Now I am open to being surprised and it might actually be useful, but I, I doubt it. And what I'm talking about is these dog activity monitors. Now this here is £40, or like $60. This is a lot of money, and I would never buy this, ever. The only reason I have this is from this. When we set up Stanley's Insurance in November 2019, they gave us a free one as part of the deal. I wasn't too bothered. So we got it for free. I didn't even contemplate using it. I was just gonna sell it on eBay. I thought there is absolutely no need for this. So without actually using it, there's two reasons why I don't want to use it. Reason number one is I know my dogs better than this thing ever could. I know how much exercise they need, I know how much food they need, I can monitor them way better than this little plastic thing could ever monitor them. I'm 100% convinced on that. There's nothing this could tell me that I can't tell myself. I don't need to spend £40 to know I'm not giving them enough exercise, I'm very aware of that myself. Reason number two, it needs to be attached to them all day for it to work properly so it can track sleep, all the exercise throughout the day, etc, etc. And it needs to be attached to a collar or a harness. Now, when they're out on a walk, they will always wear a harness and not a collar, because if you don't know why pugs shouldn't wear collars, just go Google it, but they shouldn't be wearing collars on a walk, or at least not attached to a lead. Personally, I'm not having them wear a collar in the house, so it would only be put on when they go for a walk. Now, when they go for a walk, I'm very aware of where they are and where they're going. So I just think these are pointless. Now I do actually own an Apple Watch, so I'm not against activity monitors, I think this is great, this tells me stuff I can't tell myself, how far I've run, how fast I've run, heart rate, etc, etc. This doesn't tell me much or even anything, I don't think. So I've been very negative about this, I do not have high hopes at all, but I'm going to test it just to see if what I'm saying is right. Or maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. So it says a one year battery life. Now it was still working, but I put a new battery in just in case. Come to the Velcro strap. So we should be able just to attach it to the back of their harnesses. You can just attach a strap through it. So it will just go onto any part of any harness. So it is small. It is lightweight. It's a good little product in that respect, but I just don't think it's going to be any use. So I've downloaded the app, registered an account, all the usual stuff you have to do. I put Pablo's details in because he is the heaviest and least active of them all. So if anyone's going to need their fitness tracked, it would be him. So all of our boys are in very good shape. I know we called Stanley fat in a previous video, but like, that's fat for us. That isn't, he's absolutely fine. So we've done perfectly well without this. So we'll see if this gives us any, anything else. But once I put all the details into the app, it comes up with this. Daily exercise goal, 30 minutes. Recommended by us. Why? Right. This is what I want to get into. Your dog's exercise goal is 30 minutes a day. We suggested this based on your dog's breed, age and weight. But as you know Pablo best, you can set your own goal if you prefer. So as I said at the start of this video, is I know my dogs better than this thing ever could. I know Pablo best. So, so why do I need all this? I, it's, it's just told me I know him best. So why do I need to do all this? Why do I need to go through the path? So our short walk is about a 30 minute walk. That's our like shortest walk we ever take them on, just up and down the road. And according to this, that's enough for them the whole day. They could just sleep the whole rest of the day and that's it. But this isn't taking anything like diet into consideration. The more you feed them, the more exercise they need. If you feed them less, they won't need as much exercise. I don't know, it just seems vague. It doesn't seem very helpful at all. But I will absolutely disagree at 30 minutes. They need a lot more than that. So I'm going to take just Pablo out for a walk and I'm going to see what this kind of activity monitor actually monitors while he's out, what he's actually doing. Because without this, I know exactly how far we go. I know exactly how long it takes. So I'm curious on what other information this is going to give me that would benefit us in any way. But we'll get back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this. It's your friends. Oh. Don't worry, boys, I'll take you out after. Go on, pubs. So we are back. We've walked about five kilometers. It took about an hour, just over an hour. So let's see what this thing says and see what it's actually telling us and what we've just did. Even though I've just told you what we just did. But let's have a look. So I suppose you just got to press this. Oh, fetch data. Please wait. Click your pet pad. Click. 
connected, fetching data, finishing, done. Congratulations, you sent the new badge. Hey, excellent. Whatever. So, <laughs> okay. So 70 minutes of running. We're only out for an hour. 70 minutes of running, five minutes of walking, five minutes of playing, 2.4 miles. I don't know what that is, kilometers. So I've just put a walker route into Google Maps just to get the actual distance and it is 3.3 miles, not 2.4. 2.4 miles is actually 3.8 kilometers, whereas 3.3 miles is 5.3 kilometers. So it is very well off. It's like a mile away, like literally a mile away. So it recommended 30 minutes a day. We've done pretty much triple that on just one walk. So that's not including the whole rest of the day when this isn't attached to him. So, you know, it, guys, save yourself some money. Don't buy this. Now, I don't really have much more to say on this. It's just a bit of a gimmick. It's an expensive gimmick for what it is, for what it tells you. It's not very accurate. Its advice is way off. Now, if this actually doubled up as a GPS tracker, I would maybe say it'd be worth the money because at least then you've got a tracker on them as well as kind of monitoring the fitness. Personally, I think this would actually hinder you and your dog because let's say it said your dog had been active all day and it had done its 40, 50 minutes exercise that it should have. Are you then just not going to take them for a walk? Because taking them for a walk is also bonding between you and them. It's getting them out, the fresh air, just, yeah, just do your own thing. You don't need one of these. Now, if you need advice on exercise or diets or anything like that, the best place is your vets. The vets are the ones who give us all of our advice on the boys, how much we should be doing, what kind of size they should be, how much food they should be getting. And it probably won't cost you if you do it when you go and forget like a booster or something. Ask the question, they'll give you the advice for free. Perfect. Now I knew I wasn't going to like this from the very start and I wasn't going to give it much of a chance but I thought I'd better do this video just because I got it for free and I would rather prove it's not very good than let you guys go out there and spend the money and figure that out for yourselves. So just trying to help save you guys a bit of money. I've had a few companies approach me about these and doing brand sponsorships and I've always said no based on the fact that I wouldn't use the one I got for free anyways and I stand by them decisions. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Sorry it was a lot of talking but yeah. Don't get one of these. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.